I always knew I had a, a skill for cooking and baking. I think when I was a junior in high school and the, and the topic came up, is like, well, what are you gonna do? Like, you got one more year, high school, what are you gonna do? And it was, I knew I really liked it. And I had heard of a couple different people that had graduated earlier, going to different schools, and it just sounded like a fit, a really good fit for me. I decided that's probably what I wanna do. <laughs> so I went and I've been in the business ever since. <laughs> Having an older father figure, I think, changed the way that I grew up in the thought process of food. It wasn't just go to the store and buy everything. It was, what can you grow? When we were growing up, like we, there were six of us in the family, including my mom and dad, but we had huge gardens. So that today is probably what influenced me the most because I still find myself preserving things. I remember always being able to bake something fresh for like supper or something. So I remember getting a lot of practice that way and, and looking through all the cookbooks because my mom had a ton of cookbooks and she had that little box that I think everybody has with recipes you can never find but you know they're in there and you would just look up the recipes and start making stuff. This final recipe it's been tweaked a little bit. It was Growing up, I used to make different quick breads and things like that, like muffins and things like that, and just never got great at it, you know, until you keep trying and trying and trying. Um, so this is a recipe that I did find on my own. So in this biscuit, I have um, two different fats, um, possibly three, depending on if you want to use shortening or lard is the one. And then I also use um, butter. I also use buttermilk. No, I don't substitute milk or anything like that. Um, it has to be the buttermilk because um, I think it gives it a really good flavor. So I incorporate that along with um, eggs, uh, and that gives it a little bit of the puff. There's nothing better than when you like roll out the dough and then put it in the oven and then you see them just explode and they just get huge, about three times their size. And that's, I don't know, when you see a product that actually works and something that you've worked at for a long time and, and then it comes out of the oven and everybody eats it and loves it. I just, I really do enjoy feeding people. I always, like you go on a road trip and I always have a whole cooler full of food. And we might only be gone for like a day. So it's kinda, it's ridiculous, but I, I do take enjoyment of making, of giving people good food and you know, them leaving the cafe or a catering event and just being like, oh, that was really good. I mean, that makes, that makes my job worthwhile.